Pacific Architects and Engineers commonly known as PAE, or PA &E, is an American defense and government services contractor. Founded in 1955 by Edward Shea, it is headquartered in Arlington, Virginia. Since 2016 it has been owned by Platinum Equity. PAE is a major supplier of services to the U.S. Department of State. Other significant clients have included the United Nations, the UK Ministry of Defence, the New Zealand Defence Force, and the Central Intelligence Agency. History PAE was founded in California in 1955 by Edward Shea, an American engineer who had worked in Japan during the occupation of Japan. Its earliest business deals involved property development in Japan. Shea continued as chair, CEO, and sole shareholder of PAE until 1974 when 40% of the company was sold to an employee stock ownership program. The program sold its shares back to Shea in 1988. Following Shea's death in 1995, his son, Alan E. Shea, assumed control of the company as chairman and CEO. PAE was acquired by Lockheed Martin in 2006 in what was reported, in a subsequent court filing, to be a cash transaction valued at approximately $1.2 billion. During Lockheed's ownership, PAE moved its headquarters from Los Angeles, California to Arlington, Virginia. It was sold by Lockheed, in 2011, to Lindsey Goldberg for about $700 million. Lindsey Goldberg sold PAE to Platinum Equity in 2016. Topic: <laughs> Acquisitions. In 2015, PAE acquired both AT Solutions and the Global Security and Solutions Unit of U.S. Investigations Service. Two years later, in 2017, it purchased FCI. Topic: Operations and clients. PAE specializes in expeditionary logistics and nation building including construction and supply of base camps for peacekeeping missions, airfield management and maintenance, foreign aid distribution, police training, and elections monitoring, and it has additional capabilities including technical support for weapons of mass destruction elimination, vessel and cargo tracking software, crime scene software, and weather forecasting. According to PAE, its clients, as of 2016 included the United Nations, New Zealand Defence Force, U.S. Department of Energy, U.K. Ministry of Defence, National Science Foundation, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, U.S. Navy, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and U.S. Department of State, among others. As of 2015, PAE was 57th in a list of the top 100 contractors of the United States government based on total value of contracts signed, receiving $1.04 billion in contract awards that year. The same year it, along with two subcontractors, agreed to a $1.45 million out-of-court settlement with the United States over claims it had engaged in bid rigging of a U.S. Army contract for support in Afghanistan. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, former managers of PAE and Room Asia funneled subcontracts paid for by the government to companies owned by the former managers and their relatives by using confidential bid information to ensure that their companies would beat out other, honest competitors. A PAE program manager, his spouse, and two employees of a subcontractor also pleaded guilty to criminal charges of procurement fraud over the matter. In 2017 it paid a $5 million fine to the U.S. government after it "...failed to follow vetting requirements for personnel working in Afghanistan under a State Department contract for labor services." $875,000 of the fine was awarded to a PAE whistleblower who first reported the issue. Topic: <inaudible> Central Intelligence Agency. 
During the Vietnam War, PAE provided cover for the Central Intelligence Agency's Phoenix program. Colston Westbrook was among Phoenix program operators formerly employed by PAE. PAE was also awarded the contracts for the construction of 44 Province Interrogation Centers PICS, in South Vietnam. National Aeronautics and Space Administration According to PAE, since 2016 it has operated NASA's Stennis Space Center and Mashoud Assembly Facility as part of a joint contract with BWX Technologies. As part of the joint contract, the two companies, "...do everything from cutting the grass to supporting advanced manufacturing and rocket engine testing." at the two facilities. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. As of 2017, PAE was supplying approximately 130 technical support personnel to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's National Data Boy Center. Topic: National Science Foundation. In 2012, PAE was awarded a $100 million contract to support the United States Antarctic Program for the National Science Foundation. Under the terms of the contract, PAE was tasked with providing medical support, facility construction and management, and equipment and personnel transportation to sites in Antarctica. New Zealand Defence Force In 2014, PAE was awarded a $72 million New Zealand dollars contract by the New Zealand Defence Force for "...building and facility construction and maintenance services". According to PAE, it was the first facilities provider to support land, sea and air operations simultaneously for the NZDF. Specific projects undertaken by PAE for the New Zealand Defence Force have included refurbishment of the RNZAF Survival Training Centre at RNZAF Base Auckland and renovation of classrooms at the New Zealand Defence College. <laughs> United Nations In 2006, the UN awarded PAE a $250 million no-bid contract for the construction of camps for use by UN peacekeepers in the Sudan. PAE has also provided contract police to UN missions in Haiti and Liberia. <laughs> U.S. Customs and Border Protection In 2012, PAE was among the top five companies in terms of value of contracts awarded by U.S. Customs and Border Protection That year its contract for developing CBP operational systems was valued at $97 million. <laughs> U.S. Department of State In 2007, Thomas P. M. Barnett called PAE the KBR of the State Department. According to PAE, its earliest work for the State Department began in the 1950s and included design of the Kandahar International Airport and Kabul University, and construction of the U.S. Embassy in Laos. In 1986, PAE was contracted to provide support staff to the United States Embassy in Moscow and Consulate General in Leningrad. Since 2000, PAE has been responsible for recruiting and hiring elections observers to fill the United States quota to OSCE elections elections monitoring missions. Under a separate contract with the U.S. State Department, PAE provided almost all of the logistical support for the deployment of AMOS, beginning in 2004. 
In the early 21st century it also supported, via the State Department, ECOWAS missions in Liberia, Sierra Leone, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. In 2015, when the U.S. Agency for International Development supported a program by the German NGO Wealthingerhilfe to build four Ebola treatment centers in Liberia, PAE was awarded contracts for the management of the sites. In 2017, according to the company, it received a $423 million contract from the State Department to provide administrative, technical, maintenance, training, safety and logistics, procurement support for the Colombian National Police's aviation unit. See also Chamonix Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>